Já go ahead. Now we Name and position? Yep, Hightower. Last name Hightower, first name Eric, and rank is Captain. Okay, what do we have out here today? So, officers responded out to the 1000 block of Gillette this evening for a call for a disturbance with a gun. It then elevated to a call for a shooting. When the officers arrived, they found a 50-year-old male that had been shot five times. The individuals that were there at the scene that were witnesses in the parking lot, they pointed to the officers when they arrived, a vehicle that they believed to be a suspect in that shooting. Officers attempted to stop that vehicle and it proceeded to flee from the scene. There was a very brief pursuit of that vehicle. It lasted about approximately a mile in length. That vehicle then wrecked out uh, down the street from the original shooting. The original shooting, as best we can tell from a preliminary investigation, is it was essentially a, an extended family disturbance. So it wasn't uh, so much a biological family that was involved in disturbance, but it was people who were related by boyfriend, girlfriend, and then parents of boyfriend, girlfriend, that type of stuff. Uh, there was a custody uh, dispute between a mother and a father over a, a young infant child. And then a boyfriend came over to confront the mother uh, that she was potentially seeing other people. And that then led to a disturbance with, a, with the older gentleman, the 50-year-old victim. He came out to confront this boyfriend to tell him he needed to leave. And it was, uh, it was a friend of the boyfriend who ultimately uh, potentially shot the, the, the victim. Um, all of this is very preliminary at the moment, and we're still collecting the information from the scene, uh, collecting statements and things of that nature. At the moment, the 50-year-old male that was shot, he is in stable condition. He was shot, as I said, five times, uh, two times in the leg, twice in the buttocks, once in the arm. He went to University Hospital. He is currently in stable condition. The individual that was driving the vehicle here that fled the scene, he was ejected from that vehicle, and he is in critical condition, also transported to uh, University Hospital as well. Uh, we're looking for a baby still? We're still looking? No, the, the child has been returned to the uh, maternal grandparents, and the child is confirmed to be safe. There's uh, no danger at all to that infant. Okay. We're also looking for a yellow Lancer to John. <clears throat> no, we've uh, we found everybody that's been involved in the disturbance. So everyone is currently being detained or is in custody or is at the hospital. Uh, so there is no one that is currently unaccounted for that was involved in this disturbance. Okay. We have TID out here? Correct. Uh, TID will be investigating the accident scene itself. And uh, homicide is all, or actually the CID is out here. Uh, will be doing the preliminary investigation. And then they want, once they're finished with their investigation, they'll pass it on to homicide who will carry the investigation further. Know the cause of this address? 
Then it lay in the first one there. None that I'm aware of, no. So the male in the Lancer, was he the shooter or was he the person who transported the shooter? So that's the, that's what's still being investigated. We're not sure if, uh, we know that two people came over here to confront the girl. Um, a boyfriend and a friend. What we don't know is if they came in two separate vehicles or if they came in one vehicle, the vehicle that's wrecked out. Uh, and so that's still under investigation and we'll hopefully be able to determine that before the... And the person who was shot, is that the child's grandfather? No. 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 Um, like I said, this is a, it's a disturbance that involves family, but extended family outside of biological. So this was a friend of uh, the, the baby's... Mother? Mother um, that was involved in, in that the was, That was shot? Correct. So the yeah. person in the, in the wreck, again, who was that again? Friend of the boyfriend. Of the boyfriend. Right. But was he the one who shot at the 50 year old? That remains to be determined. We're still, this is all still preliminary in its investigation, so we know that one of the two of them is the shooter. Uh, it still remains to be seen uh, who actually was. And, and the guy in no the weapon? yellow answer was the boyfriend? Correct. Okay. So no weapon has been recovered at this point? Not yet, but the, uh, the scene for the accident itself. We believe that to be inside that vehicle, and right now we're waiting for that vehicle to be processed for evidence, uh, for TID to do all of their investigation uh, to reconstruct the accident scene itself before we begin to manipulate that vehicle, turn it over, uh, and then try to get into the inside. And one more thing. It took out both front ends of this house. It's a duplex, right? Correct. Was there anybody inside those houses? Yeah, great, great question. <laughs> no, that house actually is vacant. Uh, so it, it, it's not an abandoned house, but it is a vacant house. No one lives there. And yes, you're correct. It did take out the front of that house. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you, Captain.